Hi guys, Ryu here with Latitude for Blender. In this one, I'll show you how to quickly clean mesh with three add-ons. One is from Blender, it's called 3D Print Toolbox. Another one is Machine Tools, which is free add-on by machine. And the third one is Hard Ops, which is a paid add-on. Now, uh, let me just subdivide this cube a few times. Are we gonna get something like this? I'm gonna go to Q menu with hard ops and add lattice because lattice with hard ops is just so bloody easy to add. Gonna add maybe two uh, two edges on the y-axis and select all you know all these four and move it somewhere here and I'm gonna grab this shape and put some bevel on it and we're done. Now let's say that I wanted to you know um, clean this a bit and you know I I don't really need all these edges on the side. Let me just apply this. You know, all these edges here, right, they're just redundant. And if I, for example, wanted to run a cleanup on this one with machine uh, tools, it will not really do anything because these are quads. However, cleanup from um, hard ops will actually get rid of them. You remove all the unnecessary geo, which is great. And you can add your own, right, if you want to. Uh, now, it will also remove some additional edges, which you might be careful about, you know. You might want to um, pay attention to what's been removed. And also you can set it up. So if you go to control tilde, you can actually set up your own settings here um, in this menu. Okay. And by the way, this delete interior faces is disabled by default. And I also usually have it enabled because you don't really want interior faces in most, most cases because it's no manifold geo. Now, another tool which I really like for cleanup is, um, is machine tools. And it's so bloody fast and easy to use, it's just crazy. So let's say you got some, you know, like um, non-manifold verts here, you know, like uh, uh, just floating about and maybe some some geo being, I don't know, somewhere in space and maybe you got some separate geo somewhere here after bullions are joining, you know, joining two elements or whatever and you just want to clean it. All you need to do with machine tools is press three and they're going to be gone. Of course, not everything is going to get cleaned up because, you know, this is an edge. Uh, so something like this is gonna get, um, uh, you know, it, it's gonna remain on your on your mesh. But all this other junk was just removed with one click. So all you need to do is go to either vert mode or edge mode and simply press three, and machine's gonna clean it for you. And you also have um, have a menu here. Another cool tool that I use quite a lot is uh, 3D Print Toolbox, which is an add-on that comes with Blender. So when you go to um, to Blender here, to add-ons, and you're going to type 3D Print Toolbox. You can see it's in here. And literally, this is for 3D printing. But what I use it for is for removing non-manifold geo, and it's really brilliant. So let's say that I had, like, you know, um, sometimes, you know, some stuff cannot be removed with mesh clean from hard ops or, or even machine tools, uh, the cleanup tool. So I use, uh, in these cases, I use, you know, a 3D Print Toolbox, and it's really cool. So what it does, for example, it will remove all kind of non-manifold geo. So let's say that, you know, I don't know, I just had these faces and I just shift D them and they're kind of floating on top of my mesh, right? You can see them in here, the shading is breaking, right? And if you have a complicated mesh, you just can't see all these things because it's just too much, you know, too much to look for. Uh, so all I need to do is go to 3D Print Toolbox. I'm simply going to go to uh, this cleanup option, make manifold, and I'm done. And all the faces and all the junk is gone. So uh, I'm left with a beautiful clean manifold mesh, and then I can you know, keep working on. So if you're working on bullions and, you know, you start cutting stuff, you're going to end up with, you know, all kinds of weird stuff, you know, uh, some verts floating in the air or whatnot. So you can use all these three tools and they all have different behaviors So you just need to you know figure it out which one is which but um, I usually use mostly I use machine machine tools cleanup and this 3d print toolbox now um, clean mesh from hard ops is fantastic for when you want to um, Decrease the amount of geo right so for example if I had a um, I don't know a cube and and this cube is, you know, subdivided really heavily, and I wanted to, I don't know, uh, you know, create some kind of uh, uh, some kind of selections, and I wanted to, you know, uh, play with my geometry here and create some interesting shapes. I was, you know, designing something, I don't know, whatever. And you know, I'm done with it, right? And I don't need the rest of this junk, okay? So all I need to do is go here and clean mesh and Bob Junkle, and all you're left with is this, which is just genius. You know, and if you really need to, um, let's say, 
um, add more geometry and you have a lot of angons well then you use dice from from uh, hard ups right so you're gonna go to mesh tools you're gonna use dice and you can slice it on any axis that you that you want right because you can add all kinds of axes in here uh, x y and z right so if you slice it you will see that it's gonna get sliced uh, through the angons so anyway guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did uh links to all the add-ons like hard ops box cutter and also machine add-ons in the video description so if you need those add-ons go ahead and buy them for anyone who's not aware we released a new course uh, with josh gambrell on uh, the blender bros brand uh, it's a mac course so mac design in blender massive course almost 50 hours of videos 180 videos in that uh, course two mac designs tons of bonus features amazing stuff really cheap to only 30 bucks it's available on uh, gumroad blender market art station soon coming to cg trader and also on our website blenderbros.com thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and i'll catch you in the next one